Item Number SCP-470 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures No items or personnel are to enter or exit SCP-470 or the external containment area without approval by Site Command. Anything entering SCP-470 must be examined both before and after contact. Anything exiting SCP-470 is to be contained and examined. Resistance by any items or staff to this process may be overcome by whatever means deemed necessary by Site Command. Any staff entering SCP-470 must be equipped with a long-range GPS tracking bug. Staff entering SCP-470 are to remain in groups of no less than 20 at all times. Should staff become separated, or any combination thereof, they are to immediately exit SCP-470. Staff or equipment lost within SCP-470 are to be declared missing 48 hours after loss of GPS contact. Staff or equipment located after disappearance of GPS contact are to be recovered whenever possible. Should the GPS beacon Description SCP-470 appears to be a large, abandoned office building in SCP-470 has had no registered owner since when it was abandoned with the collapse of the Corporation. The building has seven floors, including basement levels, and in a general state of disrepair consistent with its term of abandonment. SCP-470 appears to be, or to house, a dimensional anomaly, causing its internal rooms to shift and become other locations that have been abandoned for extended periods of time. The ability for an outside location to appear within SCP-470 appears to manifest after 20 and 30 years of little to no human observation, interaction, or habitation. This anomaly appears to be limited to the rooms of SCP-470, with the halls remaining primarily stable. The rooms of SCP-470 appear to exist both in their original physical location and within SCP-470 simultaneously. All rooms appear to be internal locations, such as storerooms, abandoned offices, and factory areas, with no external locations such as abandoned lots or storage yards ever recorded manifesting within SCP-470. Manifested rooms appear to be cut off from their original surrounding locations with all doors besides the entry door opening up to blank brick walls of the same construction as SCP-470. These locations appear to be unstable, and will flicker, ceasing to exist within SCP-470 at random points, and remaining unmanifested for random periods of time, before manifesting within SCP-470 again. Anything inside a room when it unmanifests will be transported with the room to its original physical location. This process also works in reverse, as any objects inside the room will be present when it manifests inside SCP-470. The flicker rate appears to vary, ranging from six seconds to several years. Addendum. It appears possible to remove a room from rotation by increasing the level of observation activity inside the original physical location of the room. The longer an area is left outside of observation or activity, the stronger the connection with SCP-470. Initially, rooms are able to shift only when no humans are present, or actively observing the area. After longer periods of abandonment, rooms are capable of shifting with as many as 14 people inside. The danger of SCP-470 comes from the fact that some of the rooms do not appear to originate in our reality, dimension, or time space. Some are constructed of non-terrestrial elements or have items that parallel with no known technology or construction. For example, at least 80% organic, with the non-organic portion showing signs of infestation. Also, there have been four recorded escapes by beings transported by shifting runes within SCP-470. Notably, Subject R remains at large within SCP-470 itself and is thought to be responsible for some of the deaths recorded inside SCP-470. The death toll currently stands at 8 staff and 45 civilians at last estimation, with several hundred more listed as missing. Many of the civilian deaths and disappearances are attributable to youth exploring abandoned areas when they shift into SCP-470, becoming trapped inside, shifting inside a different room, 
or other dangers that may be inside manifesting rooms. Addendum 2 As of November 25, 2016, a total of 38 instances of rooms located within decommissioned SCP Foundation facilities have been observed within SCP-470's rotation. Most notable of these are several rooms from the top basement levels of SCP-1730 following the initial cessation of exploration attempts by Foundation personnel. Attempts to remove these runes from rotation via observation of the facilities is currently ongoing.